So I believe it's watch him and this is the 2010 game review for Assassin's Creed Revelations. That being said, let's get started with the good. Um, I actually played this game on the Yetsu collection, in case you're wondering what I was playing the game on. Um, so I really enjoy the main and side missions in the game. I also quite like the story. Not as much as Assassin's Creed 2's, but I still did enjoy it quite a bit. I also thought that the main villain was just as interesting as the one in Assassin's Creed 2, and I thought he was quite a good villain. Um, I also thought the writing was was great as well. I really enjoyed that. And I thought the characters, mainly with Ezio, but there were some other characters I did really enjoy. It was also nice to see Da Vinci once again. And I thought that the location, there's only one, but I, I do prefer having one location that's bigger rather than a few locations that aren't very big. Uh, I also really enjoyed the collectibles just as much. And, and I think Assassin's Creed 2 had a bit more variety, but I enjoyed it just as much in this one. I also thought that the animus was was very was very good as well. I liked that it was well. I can't really spoil too much about it, but I did uh, enjoy the use of it for for this game. I think I did prefer it a bit more in Assassin's Creed Two though. Uh, I also thought well, well that's it for the good for um, Assassin's Creed Re Revelations. Now let's move on to the bad. I guess so. It's got the same problems as Assassin's Creed Two, where the gameplay can get quite annoying, and it's mainly due to the just the old controls, and especially the fact that this is part of a of a collection of games remastered, the the, the game the gameplay should should be changed. I don't know how, but it definitely needs to be. Um, and that's really all we're gonna say for the bad for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. There were a lot of parts I did prefer in Assassin's Creed Two, so I've got it here as a rated eight out of ten. But I'm thinking at the moment. It's, it's between 7.5 and an 8 out of 10 for me. But at the moment, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. So that's it for the game review for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Next week will be for Assassin's Creed Re Revelations. And thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be on Tuesday. And until then, ciao.